Hey YouTube, it's Brian with Grove Towers again. Still just doing a couple of videos in a row. Hope everyone enjoys this one. This is a little bit special. This is something that I've been getting into a lot more. I hope that everyone enjoys this as much as I do. I've noticed that a lot of people seem to like the unboxings of specific things, especially what's in this box. I'm not sure, however, if anyone is interested in the specific item, but we will find out soon enough. So, here we go. Hope everyone's ready. Packaging, packaging, <gasps> there it is. So, it is an EVGA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. So, it is an awesome little graphics card. It is definitely smaller than the 2070 box. So, it's an interesting package. Looks like there is a seal on each side. So it's never been used, never been opened. I'm gonna go ahead and open it on YouTube with you so you can see what it looks like when you open a package and what's included inside. Now this is the EVGA GTX 1660. Um, this one is a little bit different than some of the others and I'll show you that after I open it. I did a little bit of research. Unlike the 20 series, the box doesn't split on the side where you can just and then open. This one opens at the top and the bottom. I'm kind of disappointed. I kind of like that other design, but it's a minor inconvenience at most. So here we go. Just snip in the little seal here. All right, and I don't know about you all, but I'm very excited. Graphics cards or GPUs is one of my favorite things to open and see and, and everything. So. so inside the box, we have the little installation package information. It shows you about the different cards that it qualifies for. So I'm not gonna bother with this because I'm going to assume that you will have a tutorial video on how to install a graphics card that you're familiar with. And you'll go ahead and, and watch that video or already have known how to do it and be ready to do it. And this is just whether or not you wanna purchase this card, what it looks like, things along those lines. So, ready? Now this one is different than most other graphics cards these days. Even the bigger cards don't usually end up this way. There's only a few that do. So it's really well packaged, that's nice. I, I still prefer the package of the 20 series cards. The 2070 XC Gaming Edition was better packaged in my opinion. I, I really did like that better. But, you know, we get what we get. So now, here we go. For a small card, this is a beastly one. So this here is a single fan, but the thickness of it is extraordinarily thick for this type of a card. So here is the 1660 Ti from EVGA. It is a single fan card, which is nice, it means it's gonna be small. It has a single eight pin adapter, so it's not a huge power hog. The biggest thing in my opinion, however, is the fact that it takes up three slots in your machine. So if you're looking to do more than one GPU, one thing, it does not have SLI capability, so you will not be able to SLI two of them. So do not waste your money buying two thinking that you'll be able to SLI them. However, there are other things out there that you can use multiple GPUs for, such as mining and whatnot. But if that's something that's of interest to you, keep in mind that the slot takes up three slots in your machine. So when you plug it into the PCI Express, it's gotta have enough clearance. And if your machine has the PCI Express lanes too closely together, you won't be able to plug in more than one graphics card or you'll be reduced in the number that you can if you can. If you have say three or four slots, you still might only be able to get one or two of them in there. It does however have a display port, a HDMI and a DVI, which is really nice. The DVI is, is very cool. Gives you a little bit of backwards compatibility. The HDMI is pretty much standard and the DisplayPort or DP connection is pretty much what things seem to be going into. So it's nice that it's got that. I noticed that my 4K display will run HDMI or DisplayPort but will not do VGA or DVI. So it comes in handy. So it can do 4K displays. However, I wouldn't game 4K on this thing. It's, from what I understand, it's supposed to be roughly 1070, 1070 Ti rate of power, although it can run 4K. I wouldn't use it for 4K on gaming, maybe on video watching, video editing, maybe. I really wouldn't push it though in gaming. I'd say 1440p at the most. 
but overall it looks like a beautiful car. It looks really well done. The fins look nicely done up. It looks like it comes in contact really nice with a brass set of pipes and brass plate for the CPU, which means that it should keep nice and cool. Um, the copper tends to be a better conductor of the thermal conductivity, which allows it to cool quicker and faster, more reliably. So the ones with copper tend to be better and more, more efficient at cooling. I do see the power connector for the fan here, so I'm assuming breakdown would not be terribly difficult. It does look like there is about a dozen or so screws on the back. There is no back plate, so that's kind of a disappointment as well. Does not look like there's any RGB, so you will not get any light up. Kind of disappointed there too. But I do like the care that they put into the designing and the aesthetics. The EVGA fans are one of the ones that I really like because they not only have their logo here, but they also have the logo imprinted on the blades themselves, kind of like polka dot pattern. So this is the XC Gaming 1660 Ti. I hope this little unboxing helps you decide whether or not it's a card for you. The biggest thing for me is the three slots is going to be hard to use, but I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Just for now, this card's going to be sitting in, in storage until I can find a good use for it. But overall, not too bad. Pretty nice layout. And it looks like a beautiful and well done card. And I do look forward to eventually using it. Just probably not going to be until my kids are ready for an update and seeing as how they just got their stuff. I'm not in a rush to do that. Although this would be a better card than their RX 570 or... GTX 1060. So, but overall, I hope that video helps you decide whether or not to buy a 1660 Ti or at least the 1660 Ti from EVGA. Again, this was the EVGA 1660 Ti XC Gaming Edition, and they have multiple editions. They've got an XC Black, an XC Gaming, and an XC Gaming Ultra. This is kind of the middle of the line on theirs. Um, if I remember correctly, it was about 280, 290, something like that. I'll put a link down below. Not huge cost, but no RTX features, which again, disappoints me because I like that ability to play the new games and new apps that are gonna be using it. Um, this will not be able to do those things. However, it will game regular games that are not RTX. So overall though, for essentially a 1070 at under $300, it's a pretty good price and it's a pretty good deal. New, full warranty, all that good stuff and driver support coming out. Wanted everyone to have a chance to look at it. Hope it was nice, hope you enjoyed it. And again, if this video helps you, please like the video down below if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date and always leave a comment down below. And I'm still going to be thinking about whether or not to do the 3D printing videos or not. So if you want to see some of that stuff, leave me a comment down below about that as well. So let me know if you want a video about the before and after of assembly, the assembly process, the quality of the printer, things like that. Just let me know what you want out of it and I'll see if I can come up with a video for that out of what I end up being able to tape. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day everyone.